So you got a woman that's going to ask a, a good question about single mothers and the way they rear their children. Some of them, not all, some of them. But let's go ahead and roll that clip. I have a question for you. Why is it that a mother, especially a single mother, will raise her sons to be providers of women, but also in the same household, will raise her daughters to be independent of men? Well, sister, you have to understand something. A woman that's raising a son, she's trying to rear her son into what her image of a man is. And in her, her image of a man is a man that always gives his all to a woman he, he provides. Her image, nine seven out of 10, she want her son to be a simp, to not have no backbone, to not have really not much mouth to say, you know, to the woman. This is why you see the sons of single mothers also are very emotional a lot of times because it's not their fault because they didn't have they, a, a male influence, a father around. They take on the habits of their mother. Their mother respond everything out of emotion. That's why that boy grew up into an emotional man. Everything with him is emotion. Men's area is more in logic. Women's area is emotion. That's where their king and queen at is those places, right? So when you have a man that grows up that's so emotional, his feelings are always hurt. He's just emotional. He, he, he reacts like his mama because that's who he was raised around. Now flip it to the daughter. She's raising the daughter into what her image of a woman is that came through her because she don't have a man. Then she has to think I got to do it all by myself and I, I, I can't depend on no man because you don't have one to depend on. So because she's that way as a woman, she's going to teach her daughter to be independent of men because her mama didn't have a man. How could her mama show the daughter how to be with a man when she don't have one? She's not even in the role of a wife. She's not in that role. So she can't teach her how to be a wife or give her an example of how to be a wife or how to interact with men, etc because she's just not in that role. So that's really what it is. Mama, because she's not in the position where she should be in, it's actually somebody's wife, and the father should be around to give that perfect balance. Just like a, a man, he needs to be there for his daughter too, to teach his daughter, number one, a great example of what a man should be, right? If a daughter has a great father, he respects the mom, he's not out there doing anything crazy and disrespectful against the family, he's a great provider, he's a man in every step of the way, then that's going to impress upon the daughter, hey, that's what a real man is. Now, of course, the daughter can go out there and, and deal with guys who's not like that, but with time, she will realize, hey, wait a minute, hold on, I didn't grow up like that. And that these guys, are, man, my father was nothing like this. I want a man more so like my father. That's what usually what happens nine times out of 10. I know we got people out there who had great fathers and still go get some Pookie and Ray Ray situation. We know, we know, we know, but that's not always the norm. When you have the boy it's also very important for that boy to have his father, because especially when that boy get around 11, 12, 13 and up, he needs his father to shape him into the man that he's supposed to be. Cause your father would tell you, no, 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 uh, no, uh, 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 give him to eat your mama. Come over here. We got some stuff to do. Cause you had to make a man out you. Your mama cannot make a man out you. Only thing she can do is just make a fantasy of what, a, what she think a man is, but she cannot make a man out of you. That's why if you, the dad isn't around, do you have a brother? Do you have a grandfather? Do you have a, a, a cousin or somebody who's a trusted man that you know, this man is good upstanding. He, you know, he cares about his nephew. He cares about his grandson. So you want to make sure he, he grows up into an upstanding man, right? You got to lean on the men in your family. If you, if they are decent men in your family, because you have to understand, you cannot raise that boy to be a man. All you can raise that boy to be is a good person. You can help him get an education. You can take care of him, but you cannot raise him to be a man in the sense what a man should be in this world because you're not equipped to do so. And that's okay because women weren't equipped to raise men to be men. They, was ra they are equipped to raise women to be women. That's fine. This is why, you know, I always said that if it's a single parent situation, the best thing for a boy 
is when that boy get around at least 10, I say 10, 11, and you know the dad's a good man, let that boy go live with his father and let that father raise that boy to be a man. That's the best thing you can do for your son. If the father is a decent man, if the father, you know, has always been around and stuff like that, and the father said, yeah, yeah, give me my son, you know, because, yeah, I need to raise him. You need to do that. All you single moms need to do that if you got a decent father. That will help your son more than anything. Oh, my baby, yeah, he about to be a man. He need to be with his daddy. Let his daddy teach him about work. Let his daddy teach him about what it takes to be a man. You can't teach him that. You can't. But that's really what it is, sister. That's really what it is. She's just raising the kids in the image of what she see, period. And raising a boy into the image of what a lot of the women see, that's why you have the problems you have today. You want to know why y'all say these men are so sassy? Go ask these men who raised them. Go ask. Say, hey, when you see them acting like that, you see them acting so emotional, just ask them. Were you just raised with your mom or your mom and your dad? Just ask that question. I guarantee you. The majority of those guys that's that's quote unquote sassy, emotional, you know, those kind of guys, nine times out of ten, they were raised with a mama. I'm telling you, more ladies, ask that question. You see them kind of men. Just ask them. What they raised with with their mama. You know, when you see, you know, when you, some of this stuff that go on today, you know, I don't like it. I'll be honest with you. I don't I don't like to see dudes invading women's spaces all the way around. I don't like it. And, and, and some of you women got to put a stop to that. You know, some of y'all let these dudes walk around with sometimes purses. I, they say there's a purse now. It's a purse to me. You letting dudes walk around with purses bigger than yours and talking about, oh, that's a, that's, a, I mean, that's a, for men. Like, huh? I say, when do you ladies start accepting that from a man? That's why I say some of you ladies got to check these men. Y'all laying up and, and, and dating a man and walking around with, with a purse bigger than yours? I mean, back in the day, you would a man would give, if he, something he had he couldn't put in his pocket, he'd give it to his lady and say, hey, put this in your purse, right? But now today, dude's like, nah, I, I don't need my lady's purse. I got my own. And then you want to call it a, a satchel, a merza. It's a purse, bro. It's a purse. Bottom line. And I would never accept it. This just bottom. I just can't accept that from men. Do what you want. That's your life. That's your money, whatever. But any woman, I'm sorry, any woman uh, 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 that's okay with that, you know, just, I don't know. Just, just think about it. Just think because it's too much of that going on today. And, you know, my mind said, if you walk around with a purse, but well, don't get mad if he start walking around here wearing your dress.